So this right here is what about $2,050 a month in rent can get you on the west side of Jacksonville, Florida. It is a four bedroom, two bath, about 1,900 square feet. So let's take a look inside. back to my channel it is your girl Anna G and today I want to come in and just talk to you guys about credit 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 y'all 
credit is so important in this, you know, applying for a mortgage, like just in this industry, um, with trying to apply for a mortgage, your credit, your debt, it, it is so important. So I just want to touch on a few things with that. Regarding that, when you apply for a loan, we have to run your credit. I'm going to say that again. We have to run your credit. We have to. That's going to take and affect your debt to income ratio. We're going to need to know what liabilities that you are paying that's going to affect your debt to income. And your credit score as well, being able to, you know, um, pricing, just things that you'd be able to qualify for. We're going to have to run your credit, guys. Um, so yeah, just, just keep that in mind. Your credit has to be ran for this process for us to do what we need to do. With that being said, um, if you know, in a sense, like where your credit score is at, um, <clears throat> now again, we still have to pull it. I'm just saying for your knowledge. So you can know, okay, well, I think I'll be, be good to go. Um, that is important. You can check. I know a lot of people use Credit Karma. Only thing is with Credit Karma, it is not is not reliable i will say this credit karma is very good with knowing what's actually on your credit um i look at it like that as far as the scoring it's going to be off as a loan officer we're looking at that mortgage score so for someone um like i said who kind of know where their score is at um say if it's and like the high sevens on credit karma we know that's going to be a little off when we pull it but at least you'll know okay well I'm in the high seven, so I can't be that far off from, you know, a pretty decent credit score. Um, so giving us that, you know, okay, once we do, you do apply, go ahead and run your credit and things like that. You know that in your mind, okay, I should be good to go. Um, but for those that, before they even want to start the process and they feel like, look, I want to take control of this or I know some stuff I need to work on on my credit. Um, I know just there's some things I need to handle on my credit and you want to take control, control of that. You can look into myfico.com. Now it is a subscription based um, product and they have like different tiers and stuff, but the highest tier, it will be able to show you like your score for getting a car, you know, for auto, for mortgage. And that's what we're gonna be, you know, looking towards like that mortgage score. And also that highest package allows you to do simulations where you can put in there like, okay, if I pay this off, again, you know that it's some stuff that you need to take care of. If I pay this off, how much will increase my score? You know, so that package does um, give you that option. So it is a really good package to use. Like again, if you're that one, like, look, I know some things I need to take care of. I want to go ahead and get ahead of, ahead of the game um, and doing that. And you can be able to see again, where your, how much your credit score will go up by either paying this off or not paying this off. And that's very important as well. Some people may think they need to pay off uh, a certain liability, but it may not move their score versus paying off another, you know, uh, like a revolving line of credit. So just playing with it to see what you need to do. Again, if you're that person that wants to take control of that off rip, you know, before anything, seeing what you need to do to get your credit score where it needs to be, you know, and that that strong factor in regards to the credit score. Um, if you know for sure, like, hey, your score is in the fours, you know, so you're not going to be able to qualify for a mortgage. We even can, you know, direct you to, um, you know, a, a credit specialist, you know, to help with that. Basically over here, like, it's not just, oh, you can't get approved, I'm sorry, you on your own. No, we try to give you like a game plan so that you can be on that path to home ownership. Um, in regards to, you know, like your credit and things like that, just feeling that, okay, that's just gonna stop me. It may stop you for that time, but it doesn't have to stop you forever. So we can be able to get on a game plan to get you where you need to be to be able to qualify for, um, for a mortgage, but your credit, and those, your debt and your income, like those are the key pieces uh, when applying for a mortgage. Because if you have, um, you know, a lot of things on your, your credit report in regards to your liability that's eating up a lot of monthly payments in regards to the amount, it's going to affect your, your debt to income ratio. It's going to affect it. Um, and it can be so high that you that you will not qualify. So again your your credit score your debt your income all of those are very important factors when um you know when looking into this and applying for a mortgage and it's just things dealing with your credit um so kind of want to 
have a um, a game plan with that or just you know those who, like who like I said want to kind of get on that path beforehand just to see where it's at to see what's going on with their uh, with their credit because we're gonna see it once we pull it all that stuff pulls over and we're gonna have the conversation hey what what is this going on you know on your credit report uh, why does this not have a payment but it's showing a balance you know we're gonna see all those things so again those things do factor into you being um, um, you know, be able to be approved. So just keep that in mind as well. The credit, your those those debts, and your income are very important in this process. If you guys are looking to apply for a mortgage, I will have my information down below. You can go ahead and apply through my link. If you have any questions um, that you know you need me to answer for you regarding this whole you know dealing with the process or even what the topic was talking about in regards to credit. Now I'm not a credit repair specialist. You know, but I can direct you to someone to assist in that. Um, you know, but if you just have some questions in regards to the credit and um, how it intertwines with, you know, um, applying and things like that, um, yeah, you can definitely um, hit me up. I also have my email down below as well. Um, if you guys need to, you know, send me some things or send me some questions that you want to answer. And then again, if you are needing like some a specialist dealing with that i can direct you to someone as well and again like i said for those who want to take control of themselves that my fico.com is a good place to start in the highest package do does have like the mortgage score in the simulation that i was speaking about for you to kind of play around and see what you need to do to get where you want to be all right y'all i will see y'all in the next video all right, y'all, it is juice time, and we're going to be juicing a watermelon and a pineapple. And just a key tip in juicing, y'all, like prep your stuff the day before so you don't have to worry about doing it all on the day of. And also, it can be cold as well. So, again, today we're doing watermelon and pineapple, and my son was so gracious to help and go ahead and um, make a juice for everybody. <music> So dinner for tonight for a big family of seven is going to be air fried chicken wings, some garlic bread that was pan seared on the stove with some butter, uh, loaded baked potato, and a side salad. And this is coming towards the end of the video. Thank y'all so much for rocking with your girl. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share. Bye y'all.